up welcome back to my channel my name is Christine and today I'm finally going to film my room makeover reveal my husband and I have been working the past couple of weeks on just revamping the room revamping my little beauty area and workspace and I'm finally satisfied with the way how it looks so I'm gonna first kind of talk about what we did in order to make the most out of our little space and then I'm going to break the video down into two parts where you can go ahead and click on the screen if you'd like to see like a more in-depth look at my desk area as well as my vanity area. So a couple of weeks ago I had this brilliant idea of just revamping the room. I was thinking of different ways where I could put the bed, put my vanity table, desk, but really the way how the room is set up right now, this is the best way for us to maximize the space we have in our room. I also just want to let you guys know that I really wanted to work with the items that I currently have. I did purchase though two, well one big item Item, which is a desk as well as just a, a desk lamp. I wanted to fix up my my filming area because I felt like it was so cramped. It was very narrow. It was really a small space and there wasn't really much room for me to film. Went ahead and moved our bed over about six inches. Thank you, Hadi, for letting me kind of take up more space on your side. So that was perfect because moving the bed over six inches really allotted for the vanity table. I'm gonna try to leave as many links Links as I can down below on the items I'm gonna mention so our bed frame is from Ikea and then the pineapple picture right above is from TJ Maxx to the left hand side you see this little hat rack which is supposed to be for your coats but it's perfect for my husband's hats and the best thing about it is that you can push up the hooks and they lay flat the comforter set is from Target and the light gray bed sheets are from TJ Maxx These gorgeous four throw pillows are from theandkit.com. I absolutely love them because they are the focal point of the bed. And then right in front of that, I have this little tray, which is also from theandkit.com, which has my little eye mask as well as all of the remote controls for the TV. As for my desk area, I felt like it was really cramped. I just had so many things on top of the desk. So I wanted to go ahead and move the desk in front of the window where there's a lot of light that comes in. I also went ahead and purchased a desk from Target. Make sure you go ahead and wait for a sale and use your Target red card if you have it because it will definitely save you some money. It is longer and wider than the Mickey desk, but I feel like there's just a lot more space for me to edit and just not have everything so crammed together if you guys know what I'm trying to say so it just looks a lot more pleasing to the eye but there was still something I felt that was lacking because if you guys look at my previous videos the background just looks really dark we had painted the walls um, a really nice light tan color but over the years the light tan just seemed to turn a little bit more of like a mustard kind of brown and it just made the room look a lot darker and a lot smaller than how it is so we decided okay you know what let's go ahead and paint the room anyway my husband was set on painting the room this summer so this gel nail polish from the brand essence in the shade called gray zone was the inspiration for the wall color because it's a really nice light gray it will make the room appear like it's a lot bigger a lot brighter which i absolutely think it does it gives the illusion that the room looks a lot larger and it just brings in so much light if i decide to change up the decor of the room it's pretty neutral enough that it will go with basically anything i'm going to list the color that we use in the down bar below but it's from the brand bear my husband went ahead and painted the ceiling a nice white color but it's a blue tone white which would go perfectly with the paint which has a bit of like a bluish tone to it my husband did have to prime the walls since it was such a dark color prior to priming the walls my husband had to patch up all the little holes that I had asked him to place in the wall due to hanging up pictures or shelves and then he had to go ahead and place a texturizing uh, spray over the holes so that it would blend seamlessly with um, the texture of our wall he also did paint of course the ceiling and all the trimmings white so all in all with the paint and the supplies it, it cost us about $130 but it was a really really good investment and it just changed the whole dynamic of the room so that's what we had to do in order to kind of give our room a makeover we just basically moved some items and then gave the walls a new coat of paint which absolutely just did the trick so now I'm gonna go ahead and link up here on the screen 
where you guys can go ahead and take a closer look at my desk area, how I organize everything, and it'll just give you guys a better insight of you know what I have on my desk and how I organize it, as well as my vanity area. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Uh, follow me on all my social media. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.